Hey, what's up, folks? So today I am taking a look at Garuda Linux, and the other day they basically made a release, and well, I've been kind of messing around, tinkering with it, and I have to say that I really, really like it, especially in a virtual box. I'm not going to be using this on real hardware, at least not anytime soon, because I don't think that Arch Linux should be used on real hardware. I just don't. But honestly, my frustrations with Fedora and other distros might make me change my mind. So, kind of taking a look at this today. So let's get into it, shall we? All right, so let's check this out. You see it has like the SDDM Plasma. This is a pretty cool looking desktop. It's Plasma, Plasma 5, I believe. This is the Dragonized KDE. It has a very sleek theme. There's a lot of different options that you would have as far as customization and that sort of thing. The only thing that I will say is that right there, I do not. Ooh, maybe not. I did something already. <laughs> but it actually looks really good. And um, I have to say that, like, pretty much everything in distros like this just kind of worked out of the box. Okay. There we go. So you're seeing that, like, you can do this really easy. There we go. So I had messed that up <laughs> originally. But I have to say, like, this is like the coolest desktop ever. Like, uh, there's some things that I would do to personalize it. For example, I would uh, definitely be using Alacrity instead of console and a bunch of other things. But this seems to be working really good with Wayland and that sort of thing, which is really kind of interesting. But there's some real development going on with this. And I think that people need to kind of understand that. Um, like, for example, they have a lot of different things right out of the box. Brave Browser, Dark Table, Discover, Software Center, uh, Electron, uh, Fire Dragon, Web Browser, which is pretty cool. Then all the Garuda stuff, GNU, GIMP. Uh, all of that good stuff is pretty much right here. And uh, we have all kinds of things to kind of, um, you know, basically set the tone for your user experience. But for the most part, I have to say, though, this is a pretty cool distro to take a look at. So, at the end of the day, I really, really like Arch Linux, okay? And right now, I'm kind of between going back to Arch and just figuring it out as far as, you know, connecting to databases, connecting to servers, and that sort of thing. I would never make a server in Arch Linux. I'd be foolhardy because you literally have to update everything every week where I just want to set it up and leave it alone. So Arch Linux would be out of the question for that. However, I have to say something here, and I know that it's going to ruffle a lot of feathers, but here's the thing. I like Fedora. I would stay with Fedora if two things were fixed. The first one is, <laughs> for the love of God, stop making us use the GNOME desktop. And screw you a latte for trying to make me use the GNOME desktop. So if you want to know why I hate the GNOME desktop and the GNOME devs, check out that video. I tell it all. So the second part is, I would say, of Fedora and also Debian. Fix your audio issues. I mean, it is laughable. Like, what the hell are you doing? Like, the... 
nothing works in tandem with the one another uh, at least not out of the box you have to do a lot of you know terminal kung fu and all this other stuff that no one really wants to do to get it to kind of work halfway decent and then as soon as you update it yeah it all goes back to crap for the love of god just fix your audio issues i would stay with fedora forever i would never leave fedora if those two things were were addressed i would never i would use fedora over arch linux any day of the week and twice on sunday i would because I don't have to update everything all the time. I love it. I am kind of thinking that I'll probably set up a Nix OS distro. This is going to take like a month of hacking on it to get everything to work the way I need it. Especially things like OBS. Things that I use quite frequently. And so, you know, I guess it, it just comes with the territory. But at the end of the day... I just want things to work just halfway decently. They do work in Arch Linux, but as a developer, connecting to databases sometimes gives me a little trouble. Not always. The database I think I could get, I could work around. But the server stuff that I do, yeah, I don't think I want to be doing that in Arch Linux. And the other thing is, I don't want to update my system every week. I just want to leave it alone and then come back a month later and update everything and have everything working again. You know, I want to like have a, a bigger window for the updates. Like I, I know you're getting cool free stuff and all of this. And at the end of the day, I'm probably, you know, if I do wind up back in Arch and I think I could live in Arch. I'm probably just going to have to write up a cron job, make it all work. That's kind of what I'm thinking as of now. However, I don't know, man. <laughs> I have not had the audio issues on Arch Linux that I've had in Fedora and Debian in the last month. So anyway, I'm just going to just stop this rant right here because, well, you don't want to hear me rant and probably don't want to hear me going off on all these different projects. However, we needed to talk about it. So there you are. Be sure to check out my next video coming out fairly soon. I don't know what I'm going to do. I'm probably going to do like a uh, tiling window manager video maybe. I haven't decided yet. So, anyway, 